anyway so i'm basically here to show you how to go from this to this all right so we're gonna go in with our luminizer primer first so i just kind of put that on my face and just blend it out uh i really like it it makes my skin feel very soft i guess i don't know i don't know how to describe it it's just very nice and then i'm gonna go in with my um uh, epic wear nyx uh eyeliner it's it's good i guess <laughs> it's uh well it's a liquid eyeliner so i find it easier to apply than a pencil eyeliner and it's also very long lasting um warning you're gonna need an oil-based makeup remover because this does not come off at all um you can try to scrub it off with water but it just does not come off and as you saw i just kind of drew upwards and connected it to the rest of my eye okay and then i'm gonna go in with my elf hydrating camo concealer and i actually forgot to record that part but i put it on and i'm just showing the places i put it on and then i use my uh, maybelline fit me powder I think that's Maybelline, I don't know. Okay, I double checked, it is Maybelline. And I actually have this thing, it looks a little weird, but it's actually an eyebrow shaver. I don't like plucking my eyebrows, I don't know why. I, I just can't take it, but I just go ahead and touch up the bottom of my eyebrows just to clean them up a little. And then I'm going in with my L'Oreal brow pen and just in a brown shade since it is a Dazai cosplay. I'm just doing small strokes very small strokes, uh, kind of following my natural shape, I guess. Uh, light strokes just going throughout. And then on the middle, if you can see, I actually went a little heavier since I am cosplaying a man. I wanted to seem a little more masculine. And actually on this clip, I'm showing how I just went over to the tailbone of my eyebrow and just just went over to my tailbone then in this clip i was showing how i matched the inner corner of my eye to my eyebrow since i did extend my eyebrows a little with a little wing at the side and then i'm just brushing it out uh, make sure the product gets all throughout your eyebrows i feel like that's very important to do okay and then once we're done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and do the ends of my eyebrows. As you can see, I'm actually trying to do them less curved than my natural shape. Kind of more straight across than my natural eyebrow. Uh, my natural eyebrow is very arched, so that helps. Then I'm going in with my Benefit Brow Wax. So, as uh, you'll see, I don't know why it's taking me a minute, but I'm just going through it. And I'm going to just put it through my eyebrows it's just gonna help them keep in shape and i actually really love that eyebrow wax it makes my eyebrows sit still i don't like my eyebrows getting moved because of my wig or anything and i'm just kind of putting brushing up and then going down from the top if that makes sense just kind of shaping them in a way that looks neat And then once again, going into the other brow, we're just brushing upwards. And then from there, just brushing down to shape it. Perfect. Sorry if I sound a little weird. I have never recorded a voiceover like this before, so bear with me. Okay, and then I'm going in with this Feels palette. Uh, it's an eyeshadow palette, and I'm going in with that brown shade right there. And what I'm actually going to do with that is we're going to use that to contour. So I look straight down. Um, it helps me contour, and we do the tip of the nose first, and then looking straight down, we're going to connect uh, the bridge of my nose up to my inner eyebrow if that makes sense so 
we're just looking down and putting that eyeshadow there up to my eyebrow and connecting it down to the button of my nose. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and just put that on the side of my face and on my jawline. I know it looks really goofy right now, but just stay with me. So side of the face, jawline, and some on my forehead, I guess. I don't remember why I did that, but uh, since I'm going to have a wig covering it, but on, the on top of there as well. And then I'm just adding more on my nose, making it just stronger. And then I'm actually going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder again and just using that to blend out my nose contour. So I'm just looking at a mirror, looking downwards and just blending everything on my face out. Okay, and then we're going to go in with my eyeshadow palette. I actually really love this eyeshadow palette. And we're going to go in with the red shade. So just dipping it in blow some off and oh my god I just realized I still had some contour left on my cheek I mean on my jawline but whatever so we're just gonna put that underneath your eye so kind of where the waterline sits but lower just under your eye like that and I'm not sure why I'm being so careful uh, but you're just gonna place that all over the bottom of your eye it is Dawes eye he's a tired man I guess <laughs> okay and then once again, I look goofy, but bear with me, uh, it'll, it'll work out. I'm just putting more in, I'm tracing where I put my eyeliner, following it upwards. And then with my brush again, with the Fit Me powder, I just use that to blend out the eyeshadow and make it just look better, because it looks a little weird right now. Okay, yeah, that looks way better. You're just gonna keep blending it out, make sure it just looks nice, so it's not that hard. <laughs> what should it look like when it's all blended out? Then once again, we're going in with my eyeliner, and oh my god, that contour on my doll line is killing me. But we're gonna go in with the eyeliner, and we're gonna go like next to your waterline like connecting it down uh just a little bit this is not gonna be a little bit it's actually gonna be a lot but we're just bringing it down a bit more okay and then i'm looking up and as you can see it just makes it look more complete compared to the eye uh, just a little rounder i think it looks better then we're gonna go in with my wet and wild eyeliner crayon so we're just gonna put some more of that eyeliner on the bottom right there, just giving it more dimension, I guess is a good word. So we're just going over it. And look how beautiful that looks. It looks way better. And then just went ahead and did that with my other eye as well. Then I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild makeup stick. Uh, I try not to put a lot of blush since I am cosplaying a male character. I just wanted to look more masculine, I guess. And I've noticed that putting on blush makes me look very <laughs> feminine. So I try to keep it a little, but I actually do end up going in with some more blush later on. I kind of cut it, but I did go in with more. Then I went in with this Zanzuzi <laughs> mascara. So we're just putting it all over the eyelashes, just spraying it on. I actually don't think I curled my eyelashes. Yep, I didn't. Then we're gonna go in with the So Lit uh, Makeup Obsession palette. And I love this. The shade, specifically the one I'm pointing at, I've been using that for around three or four years and it's my favorite highlighter ever so I'm just putting that on the bottom half of the inner corner of my eye just opens up your eye a bit more 
And then here I go putting it on my other eye, blinking a little because I accidentally poked myself. But it just makes your eyes look a little bigger. So perfect. I'm grabbing more highlight, just putting it on there once again. I, I love highlighter, I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, perfect. And then I'm putting on highlighter on the bridge of my nose. And then also some on the very tip of my nose. And actually realized while I'm editing this, that it kind of made my nose look more round, but I don't know. I like it. And then I put some on uh, my Cupid spell as well. Shiny, shiny lips. I know. I do this with all my cosplays, not specifically dolls. I, oh my God, that contour. And then... We're going to go in and put that on the bottom half of your brow bone. Nice and shiny. Other brow bone. And then over there onto the top of your cheek to make that stand down. As you notice, I'm not really using a lot of brushes except for my contour and my eyeshadow. I don't know. Uh, I feel like with highlighter, if you want it to stand out more, you do have to put it with your fingers, it just makes it stand out more. And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Uh, setting spray. So I just sprayed that everywhere. And as you can see, I still did not blend out that contour on my jawline. I'm not sure why, but I'm just drowning myself on that spray. I did not need that much, but I still went through with it. And again, I did it again. After putting on your wig and contacts, you should kind of look like this. I don't know. I think I look very handsome so thank you for watching once again i apologize if i sound a little weird or nervous i've never <laughs> recorded anything like that before but thank you for watching and if you liked it consider subscribing it's free so thank you and you enjoy the rest of your day <laughs>